So good evening guys, um, my name is Shadi Femi JC once again, many of you know me as Crypto Toilet and some of you know me as Simple J and in today's video I just want to show you how to like um, uh, partake in pre-sale on DXA on your mobile phone and using Metamask because I noticed that Trust Wallet is shit, alright, Trust Wallet the app is very very slow, I just noticed and I see uh, Metamask as the best alternative to all issues for all these things including all this book coin app and trading because Metamax is very, very fast, very, very fast. And I want to show you how to configure Metamax. And most especially, those on iOS, iPhone users can't use the apps anymore on Trust Wallet, all right? And if you try to participate in pre-sale on the to with Trust Wallet, man, and if the pre-sale is competitive, you will miss out. The reason is, it, it, your, the DXA website will continue loading, 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 loading. Whereas on Metamax, it is once. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So I will go to Trust Wallet straight. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. You go to D apps, then I go to DXA's.app. So it, it will keep on loading, 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 loading. On a very good day, it's supposed to open once fast. But you can see that it kept on loading. So that is the issue. So what is the alternative? The alternative is what? Metamask. So now, here is my Metamask, okay? Mm. Okay, Metamask. All right, so you can see Metamask right here. So what you just have to do, when you open your Metamask the first time, they will tell you this, then you hit on Get Started, and um, you can install your Metamask from Play Store, or you go to just Metamask. You can see it right here. Make sure you're installing the real one. You will see it here. You will see the real one. You should know because you will see the number of um, um, downloads. One million plus and that is the real MetaMask. So once you're done with your MetaMask, then you will open it. You will, you will have to import. Don't create a new wallet. Make sure you import your wallet from Trust Wallet on MetaMask. It does not affect your Trust Wallet because that is where you have your BNB. So I will import my import using this phrase. Don't create new wallet. Then you head straight back to your Trust wallet, all right. So you can see that this is still loading. So I will call you. Will come to, on your trust wallet. You will come to settings, okay. So I will be using fake wallets that I created. I'm not using it. You will come to your wallet right here. Then you see list of your wallet. Whichever one you have your tokens anymore. I have different wallet. I created this test because I wanted to use it as example because I can't review my free um, real wallet um, seed phrase. So what you have to do is you will see this three dot right there. Close to the wallet, like I told you. Okay, you see these three dots. You have to click on it. Oh, sorry. You have to click on the three dots. All right. Then you see seed phrase. All right. Then you have to click on it and copy your seed phrase. At this point, you might not see the screen anymore. It will be blank. You will see. I understand the risk. Continue. So at this point, you might not see my screen again. It will be blank. But you will see show QR. And you will see copy. So just click on the copy, all right? And once you are done copying, head straight, all right, to MetaMask. Okay, once you're on MetaMask, where do you write this um, seed phrase? Paste it right there, okay? So once you paste it right there, it will not show. But if you want, if you want it to show, just click on this show so that you see you will see all your seed phrase will show. You can see my seed phrase. I'm not using it, it's a blank, it's a stealth wallet, even if you import it, you won't see any token BNB there, but you can help me by sending BNB inside, into the wallet so that I will spend it. So, let me click on I, then they will ask you for your password, you just have to put any of your password, um, uh, any password. Um, let me just put... So you just put your password, sign it with biometric phone or be using your fingerprint, enable it, mine is enabled, then you click on import. Alright, so you click on import, it will start importing. So you just have to wait for it to import, make sure your network is good. Alright. You can see from here, congratulations, you have successfully protect your wallet and this. Then you click on done. Then you click on agree. 
then you click on uh, this uh, no thanks all right now this is the thing this won't work for binance on from scratch because this is ethereum all right it has not been configured for binance machine metamask is at default configured to work on only ethereum so in order to do to work for for it, in order to make it work for binance machine we have to do some configurations which is very simple so we come straight here to the menu then you come to settings then you scroll down to where they have network here then you click add network then we have to fill in this thing all right you will check the description of this video to see the configuration file all right so this is it rpc the oh, okay network uh, rpc network name smart chain you can give it any name network name smart chain i will call my own binance binance smart chain all right you can give it any name mainnet binance smart chain rpc url copy this url and put then chain id 56 all right symbol bmb block url bsc scan dot com this is it you can see chain id 56 symbol bmb all right bscan.com that is all we need to configure all right so click on it then click on add click on add till it adds all right good we are in so if you check here you will see binance matching wallet so you can see you will, if you have any bnb you will see your bnb trading because we configure it if you want to switch between network it's very very simple if you want to switch between network it's very very simple just click on your settings all right um network all right you will see different network right here all right this is the ethereum minute this is our binance smart chain all right so anyone if you want to choose ethereum want to if you want to switch back to ethereum just click on this it will switch automatically all right so that is it but i want to switch to bnb um binance Oh, sorry sorry okay bro, bro, let, if you want to switch to another um, um, was, um network just click here click this top all right that's where you should click click if i want to switch to ethereum you click on it like this it will switch automatically to ethereum now see if you see it we start seeing your ethereum balance if i want to switch to binance smart chain we, cl we click here then we scroll down and select binance smart chain and now we are here so now you will see your bnb balance so that is it so now if you want to use the dr browser you click on menu you see the browser right here that is it to see their browser is nice you can your with their browser you can do anything and you can even open new browser that is why i like them you see you can open new browser and let me show you now let's say you want to use pukwen.app i like the i like metamax that i'm trust wallet now pukwen.app see it right here it's very very fast you can see it very very you can see how fast it is so this is pukwen.app very very fast you can see if i click on connect see what will happen you can see connect you see it will ask me metamask to trust wallet i will choose metamask you see it will click it will bring it connect click on connect you can see i've connected immediately i've connected it to start showing all my balance I don't have any coin because this is just a fresh um, wallet. Now, if you want to screw, if you want to open another tab, just click on this dot one here. Then click on like if you want to open another tab, just click on this place. All right. Then click on this plus. Now, let's say you want to do if it will open. So now I want to do the DXO. Here is a link I copied. I want to use as example for you guys. All right. I want to use it as example. So now, let's say you want to partake in any pursuit. You would have gotten the link from those the divs handling the coin all right you would have gotten the links so they will give you the link to the person we always partake with the link releasing the group by the divs of the token themselves don't just go for any random link all right so let's say you've been given the link you just come to your browser right here 
paste the link, all right, hit go, okay, to start loading. You can see how fast this one is, DXL on um, Metamask, you can see how fast it is, you can see, then you have to connect immediately, click on connect, make sure you're on the Binance Smart Chain Network, don't forget, you must be on the Binance Smart Chain Network, so click on agree terms, confirm, so this is how pre work. Now, this is a token pre that is currently going on. I just have to go and get the link. I don't know if the pre has ended. So you can see it will, it will load the details now. Now it's loading. Now you can see the, 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 the pre is still going on for this particular token. Mommy token, they are trying to raise 20 BNB as um, soft ad cap. See it right. If you scroll here, you see their ad cap. Their ad cap is 20 BNB. Soft cap is 10 BNB. They've surpassed soft cap. So you can see if we want to contribute, once pre-sale starts, you can see because this one is, has already started. So minimum contribution is one BNB. Uh, maximum contribution is one BNB, and minimum contribution is 0 0.5 BNB, 0 0.05. So if you want to contribute, it's very simple. Just put the amount of BNB you want to buy here. Based on the minimum, it, it must be between the minimum and the maximum. So let's say I want to, I want to buy just 0 0.5. If you put it there to calculate the tokens for you, which we will get right here. Then once I click contribute, it will it, 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 it tell me contributing field. Why? Because I don't have any BNB. If I had any BNB, it would have prompted me to complete the transaction and I would just approve it. Once I approve it, then my contribution amount will be here. Um, the amount I contributed in BNB will be here and my tokens for reserve will be right here, but I won't be able to withdraw it. So once this pre is over, once the pre-sale is over, you must come back to this DSL in this, you, you must come back to this link. Once the pre is over and it has been finalized, so right here, you will see claim, right here to claim. Once you claim, the token will automatically what? Enter your um, um, wallet, all right? If, if once you claim, it will be credited into your wallet automatically. Once you claim it, then you can now head straight to PooCoin.app. If you watch my previous video or just head straight to PancakeSwap. In fact, you will see a link of PancakeSwap right here automatically to trade the coin. So once you claim, just click the link directly then it will take you to pancake swap where you can then trade and this is it this is pancake swap you can see the binance matching browser is very very fast on phone and that is what i will use you can see the pancake swap let me just go to pancake swap it's always good to know the url of pancake swap all right so that i don't visit just fake link all right all right, exchange of pancakeswap.com. This might be a fake link. Should be exchange of pancakeswap. All right, like I said. Okay, seems to still the same link. Pancakeswap.finance. Let me go to pancakeswap.finance. All right, but always click directly from the from the link. Okay. So now pancakeswap.finance. Where is pancake? I just want to try to show you something. Okay, if I click on connect, it's asking for MetaMask. All right, connect. Once I connect, I click on the pancakeswap menu. Then I go to trade, then exchange. So the main URL is actually pancakeswap.finance, exchange of pancakeswap.finance, click on connect, the previous one.com, I don't know them. So exchange of pancakeswap.finance is the main one, although they may be the one that owns the domain.com, but I prefer the exchange.pancakeswap.finance. But on the DXO page, once the sale has been completed, you see a link straight to the token page to trade it on Pancake Swap. Very, very simple. So from here, you can now trade. You can see that I've connected that. You can see that DXL is very, very fast and you can navigate among, you can multitask. You can open new tabs on like Trust Wallet, which you can't do that easily, all right? You can see it. So just start using um, Pancake Swap right now, okay? Very, very simple. So you can see it here. Very, very simple and very, very smooth and easy. So that is how it works, guys. And thanks for watching.